Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to the God Loves People YouTube channel once again. I want to talk today about where to start with your Bible, and this is part two of that. And I'm going to give you my estimation after 50 plus years of Bible study, ministry, and seeking the face of God. Where I believe you should start is the same place the Apostles did, and that is with Jesus Christ. His life is recorded for us, or I should say his ministry is recorded for us, in the first four books of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All the sermons in the book of Acts focus on Jesus Christ and who he was and what he did. Let me give you an example. Peter, in preaching to the very first Gentile converts that we know of, he talks about God anointing Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Spirit and with power, that he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. In other words, Peter's focusing on the life and career and ministry of Jesus Christ and all the rest of his sermon illustrates that. So here's where I'd like you to start. After the book of Malachi, the first four books of the New Testament are the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I want you to start there because they are the core teachings of Christianity. Not just what Jesus said, but what he did, who he was, how he, how he called his disciples, what he wanted them to do. All of these things are in those four Gospels. In particular, these four Gospels talk about Jesus person. They don't all say these things in exactly the same way. For example, Matthew opens with the, gene the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Mark opens with the gospel of Jesus Christ, the son of God. Luke opens with a fairly long story about the birth of Jesus. John opens with, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So they're all focusing on this person, on his ministry, on who he was, what he did, and finally, how he died and rose from the dead. Those are the teachings we need to know if we are to be strong, godly men and women. Jesus is King of Kings. He's Lord of Lords. He's God manifest in the flesh. He is the Anointed One, or if you will, the Messiah, or if you want to go to Greek, the Christ, the Christos. He's the I Am. He's the Great Miracle Worker. He's the God-man united in one person forever. And he is the man, the God-man, who died and rose from the dead. So it's all of these things that the four Gospels talk about, discuss, in terms of the life and ministry of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. The first three Gospels are what we call the Synoptic Gospels. In other words, they give more of an overview of Jesus' life and ministry, with Matthew focusing a lot on Jesus' teachings, Mark focusing more on his actions, and Luke kind of combining the two. John is a little different. It focuses more on the inner life and thinking of Jesus and on specific events that demonstrate who he was, like John tells us, in John 20, 31. He says, I don't think that if I wrote all the things about Jesus that I know, and this is a big paraphrase, that the world would contain all the books which would be written, but I've written these so that you might know who Jesus is 
and might believe that he is the Christ, the Son of the living God. The four Gospels are about Jesus Christ, and that's where you should start. Now, here's how you should do it. Number one, read all four all the way through. You don't have to read them fast. They're very, very carefully thought books. And so a lot of times, if you read them fast, you miss things. It's kind of like a great movie. In a great movie, you can watch it four or five times and pick up new things each time. Number two, you should go back and read them again after you have read all four of them. Number three, you should read them again after you've read all four of them. Number four, you should read them again. And number five, you should read them again. Just go slowly. It doesn't matter how long it takes. You're not trying to set a speed record here. You're just trying to infuse your mind with the message of Jesus Christ. That is the most important thing you can do, is understand him, understand his teachings, understand what he did and why he did it, and especially who he is. That is the most important thing for you to know. Now this is Steve Bradley signing off once again for the God Loves People YouTube channel, and we will further consider these things at a later time. I hope you're having a great day, and I wish God's greatest blessings on you.